Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. Welcome to another tutorial. And this is a video about showing off the PSX Shader Kit, which is available for free on the Unity Asset Store, which can allow you to create accurate PS1 style visuals and aesthetics. And just a note for everybody who's watching that it does help if your textures and assets are built in a low poly and low resolution style. It does help but this adds the dithering, it adds the dithering and the misalignment of the textures to make it look like that pixelated PS1 style. This only is suitable for the built-in render pipeline at the moment for this asset, but remember it is free and there is other solutions on the asset store. We'll take a look at installing it, using it, looking at the features and how to get it going. So be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev for this month. And be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 175 different scripts, assets, and projects. So to start off, you can navigate to the Unity Asset Store and look for the PSX Shader Kit by Valerie Moser. And then you can add it to your kit and choose to open in Unity. Now, I've just got a house here, which I'm going to use as an example. This isn't the best example because it's not a super low poly scene, but I'm going to show you that it can use, be used in any situation. Now, if we go to window and make sure that we choose package manager go to the package manager and search for the psx and you can see that the psx shader here you can just download and import once it's here you get a bunch of assets that you've got to get started and if you do open the demo and look at their demo scene you have a bunch of options here and you can see that the scripts are already attached for you to mess around with I just tweaked the grid resolution to make this more apparent up to the normal lighting factor just to make sure that it wasn't as blown out and you can see when I move my camera you can see the effect that this has already on a sort of low poly style environment and you can up the vertex grid resolution to about 100 and you can see that you do have a slight bit of dithering and distortion on your textures as you move around if you don't want the effect to be so apparent. And there's one thing that I wanted to mention is that when you're in a normal scene within Unity, a normal HD resolution is not the resolution that would have worked on a PlayStation 1 style scenario. So as much as you can see the dithering that happens within the scene, you won't get that very pixelated look. Of course, the textures go a long way with that style. But the way that you want to focus in on how to make it look authentic is if you go to your game mode, or your game panel and click on whichever resolution is by default and you can press plus and we can just create a resolution called 320 by 240 which would be a classical PlayStation 1 style resolution so when we press that you automatically get a really pixelated look of your graphics because you've shoved everything into a really smaller resolution and you get that look which looks far more catering to a PlayStation 1. Now, if you want to take the example and apply this to our own scene, I've just created an empty game object called PSX Effect. So what I'm gonna search for is PSX Shader Manager, which is something that we just looked at before. I'm gonna to go to my main camera now, and I'm going to add a new component and just add the PSX Post Process Effect. And then you've got some settings there for the color emulation interlacing and the shaders that it uses by default. If we go back to the PSX effects, you can see that we can affect the resolution, the lighting, and other things on there. But to say that we need to apply this, it needs to have an appropriate shader. So let me say that I select this counter that we've got here. The kitchen cabinets worn has its own shader, and the kitchen marble stone also has a shader. So what we can do is normally on standard, we can go to the PSX, and we can go to something like Vertex Lit. Then we can go to the cabinets, do the same thing, and choose a Vertex Lit as an example. And you can see that a lot of the shaders actually changed on this. And what I'll do is I'll even select the fridge in this case, and I'll go inside some of the models so that you can see the fridge one. We can go to PSX, Vertex Lit. It doesn't have, or it doesn't have as many options. It has a place for the texture, the emissive, the cube map and reflection map. So it doesn't have as many options for say normal maps or other things, but for that PS1 style, I suppose that isn't as intentional for what you want it to be. So now we've got those shaders in pop and you can go to the PSX effects. And then if we take down that vertex grid resolution, 
you could see that we start getting that dithering effect on those assets that already exist in our scene. And now these assets don't really suit the scene that we have, so we can introduce the retro lighting normal factor. So as we take them up, we can make them blend more to the scene that we want it to be. And you can also increase or decrease the light fall off depending on how you want those to look within the scene. And again, you can adjust the texture warping factor that it warps that texture as you look at it. When you look at this part at the top, you can just keep that on full. And you can see originally when we had our original scene with the effects and it's in the uh, just a full HD kind of resolution. If we switch it to that PlayStation 1, which is 320 by 240, we can automatically make the game look in that very PlayStation 1 style with the pixelation and the dithering and the effect that we have on the graphics, even if this was a very, very realistic style to begin with. So remember that you can add the shader manager just to an empty game object or the main camera. And then you have the post-process effect on the main camera and you can adjust the depth, the dithering, the matrix, the interlacing, choose the shaders. Remember that each of your assets that you do have, you need to make sure that you change it to one of the PSX related shaders that you want to use. Do let me know what you think of this tutorial. Check out the asset and make sure to leave a great review because it's an awesome asset for absolutely free. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything for this month. Be sure to come and join me on Patreon to get access to over 175 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive savings on my website too. Thank you to all my amazing patrons and a special thank you to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Barakas, Walter Dunson, René Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getajank, Ishikawa Takuya Hush, Thomas Mercileski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Hoglan Naiguyan, Thomas Lopez, Career for Life Gaming, Sunu, Sungji Park, Mercury27, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, Gene Wayne Quaint, Duane Cooper, James McCarthy, Johan Lixon, Leslie Winter, Calvin Martin, Heather Fletcher, Connor Draws, Mark Vacon, Jose Herrera, Andre Ferreira, Lorientu, Patrick Dominowski, Dylan K, and Pablo. And thank you so much to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.